Hello, I'm Scott Brown and today I will be filling in for your usual host Mr. Odd. He has fallen ill with a mysterious virus and nobody has seen him in three weeks. Greg Turkington is a comedian, movie expert, and beloved star of the hit series on cinema at the cinema. Hey guys, it's movie time! Wow. But did you know that he has deep ties to famous rapper Kanye West? Poop doody whoop scoop. Poop. Poop. Some have reported that Greg Turkington and Kanye West might even be the same person. At first, this theory may seem like the nonsensical ramblings of a homeless woman. Well, we investigated these rumors, and the evidence may shock you. Follow us down the rabbit hole, today on Odd News. Let's start off with the musical connection between Ye and Greg. Greg is a Wizard of Oz expert, movie producer, AMC employee, and many other things. Congratulations to Greg for 10 years of movie expertise. <laughs> Greg, he is a good guy. Well, I'm also known as America's youngest comedian, which is, of course is an honor, and I'd like to thank those who bestowed me with that honor. We come to this place for magic. He even choreographs dance moves for the films he directs. Take a look at Greg performing the Jitterbug from Deck of Cards. The Jitterbug. Deck of Cards was his directorial debut. It was celebrated by fans and critics around the world. But did you know that he is a musician too? This man is an underground music legend. Hit it. Come on, 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 and touch me. Formerly the lead singer for the legendary band Zip Code Rapists. Some may say that his voice sounds angelic. Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Greg Turkington. 
have one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. When asked how he feels about Kanye West, this is what Greg had to say. Kanye West or 50 Cent? You got a thing for us for Kanye West or 50 Cent? Well, I think uh, it was 50 Cent. He's the guy that said he would retire if he was outsold. So I'm going to vote for uh, Kanye West to sell more records so we at least get one of them off the uh, music-making scene. And then we'll hope Kanye West makes a, a, a similar deal with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And we can just wipe out all these uh, poor entertainers somehow. Kanye West is the greatest musical genius of all time. Best known for his hit songs Asso and Whoopty Scoop. Asso, scoop dee dee whoop, whoop dee scoop dee poop. Kanye has perfected his craft. His choreography and lyrics are unmatched. Sick fuck, I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck. Today I seriously thought about killing you. Asso. Check out this live performance and be honest with yourself. Do you notice anything similar between these two videos? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, I do. Did you know that both Kanye and Greg have a rocky relationship with Marcus Pork? Mark Pork, uh, post, Mark Pro, Scort. Most, Mike, Mark Court, uh, Mark Pro. So how do you do, how do you do that, Mark? Prox. Greg's relationship with actor and entertainer Marcus Pork can be described as tumultuous at best. Do you know, um, you probably know this already, some of our viewers may not, <clears throat> the dog who played Toto, what was his real name? I honestly don't care. I mean, I don't really it care, Greg. Harry. Okay. Harry. And Mark, I brought you a present, because I know um, things were a little weird there for a little while, but um, this is a book that I was involved with writing. It's my first book, and um, this is actually one of the first copies printed and I thought it was something you might be interested in. Anyway, this is the very first copy of Greg Turkington's Film Buffs Log. So, congratulations, Mark. I don't want it. I don't want anything from you. Well, I'll put it here and you can, you can take it on the way out. I'm not gonna take it. Okay. Some uh, little tension there. He would have not be here today on this earth. He'd be up in heaven with Dr. San if I hadn't have saved his life when he fell over. I was the one that resuscitated him. If it wasn't for me, he'd be up in heaven hanging out with Dr. Sin, which is not a bad thing. When he fell over, it was part of a, a what has become a classic scene in, in cinema history, the living Oscar that people love and it sort of put him on the map. Second of all, I was the one that was changing his diapers, feeding him, keeping him alive for a year. If he had just been left to his own devices, he would have died on day two. And never once during that entire year did I see you show up and offer to change his diapers. Mark does not want to work with Greg in any capacity. We got the video of you last year, or whatever it was, saying that you don't want nothing to do with us. Well, I want nothing to do with you. Yeah, I don't except want him to, I don't want him back. I want you what you give, what you're the best at, which is your talent for making people laugh and making people entertained. Because we need. Talented we, people I, like I, you. I can find somebody new because Mark is not. I think we should that we give Mark. I am a forgiving man. I've forgiven my wife for the transgressions she's done against me and our but family. I just don't think we want to work I've with him. Mark's father, Marcus Pork Sr., does not want to work with Kanye West in any capacity either. Kanye West is no longer allowed to wear my designs because he's being very mean to anyone Jew. I want to be nice. 
which is why I'm having a sale for all Jews. For 10% of my designs, go to my store and type the code JEW. This is mostly due to Kanye's anti-Semitic rants and anti-social behavior. Speaking of anti-Semitic behavior, this leads us to our next piece of evidence. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I, I, see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Ye has been seen praising Hitler and exposing the Jewish Zionist plot for world domination. I didn't realize that I could be considered anti-Semitic till I read one of the definitions of anti-Semitism. Okay, it says, such as especially but not exclusively the myth about a world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media, economy, government, or other societal institutions. But isn't that what you said? That Jews run everything? Yeah, but that actually is considered to be anti-Semitic. Right. Hey, you know, I have a Jewish attorney. I have a Jewish record label. I have a Jewish contractor. Okay, so this right here is a chart of uh, Universal Studios, 20th, 20th Century Fox, ABC News, CBS, CBS News, Columbia Pictures, uh, Warner Brothers, ESPN Sports, Fox News, Washington Post, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MTV Music Television, Nickelodeon, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, Comedy Central, NBC Entertainment, um, uh, Google, uh, what else do we have? Disney, ABC Kids and Family, YouTube, Los Angeles Times, Discovery Network, Paramount Pictures, Facebook, Huffington Post, Yahoo, Marvel, Hulu, Cosmopolitan, Time, um, Touchstone, Associated Press, uh, Pixar, Miramax, HBO, New York Post, Lucas Arts, MSNBC, uh, DreamWorks Animation. Now, the thing is, I skipped over maybe about five of them because it was just unclear on this list. The red are the executives that are Jewish at these companies. Greg Turkington gathered his closest colleagues into a warehouse and then poisoned them with gas. This one is kind of self-explanatory, so I won't say any more about the subject. When I first heard that, that uh, Tim was getting married, okay. my first thought was, oh God, you devil. Uh, but clearly, uh, with Tim, he'd never say never again. And I'm glad that for Tony, diamonds are forever. Yeah, Daddy, come on. Let's dance. If you were Mark, you'd want to hang out on Skid Road. Can we get music, I, Tim? Know. We need music.
Both Kanye and Greg Turkington should stay far away from cars. Ye was injured in a car accident in 2002. His jaw had to be wired shut. This inspired him to make his Grammy-nominated song, Through the Wire. I'll play Through the Wire for you because I just want to see your reaction. I want to hear all y'all reaction right here. Cause that's no problem. What, let's talk about the accident. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting up in that hospital for seven days to just to decipher between the wolves in my life and the direction I need to go in. This <laughs> is your chief. You can't stop me from having cancer. Did you know that's what fucking, yeah, because his shit was wired up. Yeah, wired but shut. did you get that in the yeah, beginning? Yeah, I heard that. He said they got me rapping through this wire shit. I heard that. Hey, 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 hey. Nigga, that shit is phenomenal. Yeah, things don't. That shit is. Well, you got me, Playboy. Like, you one of my favorite artists, man. Oh, <laughs> shit. Good looking. Nah, for real. That's yeah. real. That's real. Greg ran over Michael Matthews, a.k.a. LaRue, in 2021. Go! Fucking weirdo, get out of my... Come on. This trifling act of aggression occurred during the 8th annual Oscars special. So what is happening with the with the investigation and what what does this box this yeah, the, this secret box to get it out of the, provide out for of us? All right, we have totally reduplicated all the events on that day. And we're going to recreate and prove and show exactly the effects of carbon monoxide using this rat. What are you <coughs> doing? Turn the, uh, LaRue, turn the car turn off. Turn the car off. Everybody you turn the car off. Turn it off. <coughs> All right, well, you don't understand what I'm saying. <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> Poor little rat trying to kill the this rat. We turn the monoxide. Animal cruelty. The, uh, well, that's my point. That just demonstrated oh my, my point. This is what happened. <coughs> Last year, he had his car parked in here and wouldn't turn the car up after I... <coughs> All right, that was too much, Lou. That didn't work. That was a bad idea. Now, Mr. Tim Heidecker, executive producer and groom at that event, had commanded Mr. Turkington to turn this engine off. That's the key right there. All right, what is the conclusion Why didn't you, you ask reach? someone to open the door? What, if, what is the conclusion you reached? Bottom line, he's guilty. He's guilty. Get him out. Get, get, don't get the fuck get, get him the best out. Night of the year. Get him Every back here. Make sure he doesn't leave. So he could bring in his fucking walk, idiot. He can't just walk out on me. Waste everybody's fucking Nobody time. Nobody walks out on me. Bullshit. Just now what we're gonna do, if you're still watching this, you're a movie buff. Get him, get the put his body cam on. Put, go put the body cam on so we can see what the hell's going on. I don't want I want eyes on this him. Is a house the hell's that going looks on? Exactly like Middle Earth, and we're gonna go give there. Give me eyes on, give me eyes on these, Larue. Uh, I want eyes on Greg. That Tim, that we, What's nobody up, walks on me. What do you want? Get go eyes on. on Greg. What's up, Greg? There he is. Need you go come away. back inside, Keep, on, keep man. close on Just this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Go back inside, Tim. Don't go away, go. folks. We're watching an actual apprehension away, right Greg. now. Just come on back inside. This is for a this is gonna get real. Come on, man. Why don't we have? Go away! Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. Okay, I'm going to drive, so get out of the way. I What's said that? I'm going to drive. Get out of the way. Nope. I'm going to fucking drive. I don't know. I don't nope. Know. Go! Fucking weirdo. Get out of my fucking Stop way. Stop bullshitting. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Now LaRue's legs are useless, like a couple of floppy little worms. I just want to acknowledge we got uh, LaRue in the house. How are you feeling? I'm hanging in there. If you're adjusting to the new reality uh, of your... Best I can. Yeah, best you can. Yeah, it's been a tough road. And everybody, by the way, has been so supportive of yeah. getting you back. You guys have been very supportive. I appreciate it. Yeah. All things considered.
Both Greg and Ye are devout followers of Christ. When someone comes up and says something like, I am a God, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a God. I just told you, that's who I think I am. Ye hosts Sunday service church concerts and has close ties to Joel Osteen. We've all seen, you know, something happened in the last year or so, not where you were back then. Maybe you can just speak a little bit to the transition and, you know, how are you here today at Lakewood? I know that God's been calling me for a long time and the devil's been distracting me for a long time. Greg participated in the On Cinema Prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you so much for giving us Wendy Kirby. Thank you for showing us the way with her music and her voice and her talent and her pure white skin and the softness of her hand as I feel it right now. The softness reminds us of youth and the vitality that youth brings. He also has close ties to Mr. Money Joe Estevez. I am happy to call him my friend. Now, I, I, I'll tell you what. Greg, he loves movies and he knows just about everything there is to know about movies. Uh, in fact, he knows so much about movies, he's even made a few. <laughs> and, and, and I've had the honor and the pleasure of starring in Decker versus Dracula. And to this day, I, I still have some regret that I couldn't have done more in this masterful deck of cards. You know, I've been making a living as an actor for 38 years, and I pray every day. And I, I used to pray, uh, asking God to send me acting work. And God always answered my prayers, and I've always been fortunate enough to stay busy. And then I, I changed my prayer, and I asked for acting work that wouldn't make a difference, uh, that, that, would, that, would have, that would make some kind of good, put some kind of good out in the world. Uh, because I... I, I came to an awareness of how incredibly powerful film is. They even have similar Christian-inspired fashion choices. Do you notice the similarities between these two men? It's as clear as day. The soul of God is emanating through their bodies. And finally, it is time to unravel the biggest connection between Kanye West and Greg Turkington. They are both huge Bond heads. They love the James Bond 007 film franchise. Just explain the bit. I'm in the scenes. Okay, I'm in the, the in the locations that the Bond movies were shot in. His knowledge of these films vastly outweighs any other movie buff in the world. Take a look at Greg's desperate attempts to premiere his segment on cinema on Bond. 
Greg Turkington is with us, and we've got a lot to get through. I want to thank we've everybody. We've got a little for to get to because it's Bond Day here at On Cinema. I was actually suggesting to Tim before we started, why don't we change the name of the show to On Cinema on Bond just for today only because uh, this is a big moment in Bond history, the return of James Bond after a very long absence. And this is possibly, as you'll find out when we review the movie, possibly the best Bond yet. It's certainly the longest, which is kind of cool. We'll be getting to that later in the show. Oh, First, thing, I want to thank. I also, after James Bond, after we review the movie, we're going to do a special Bond popcorn classic, which is kind of cool. Going back in time, there's been a lot we of don't Bond have, movies. Uh, and seeing we're not. Some I, of the I earlier told you Bond. I'm not guaranteeing that. We have to see how we're doing on time. Now it's Bond time. We're going to talk Halloween Kills, directed by David Gordon Blue. Gordon. David Gordon Blue Green. Ugh. What were your, ra your popcorn rating, though, please, so we can move on. I'm not going to give it a popcorn rating um, because I'm boycotting the popcorn ratings until we get to this James Bond movie that you said that we would review and you keep uh, ignoring, and I sent you about 20 emails this week. You Nord. know what? My plate's been a little full, Greg. I don't know if you've been paying attention well, to what's going on with the show. I think you had two minutes to write back and say, yes, we will review the Bond movie. So you don't want to talk about... The Last Duel, directed by Ridley Scott, one of the great directors who directed so many movies that you probably are fans of. You don't want yeah, to, you I want want to talk about to the last baby duel. out with the bathwater here. We're saying when we do the Bond, then I'll give popcorn ratings. I'm not going to give until after right. we do the Bond. Then what are you doing here? Um, I'm joined by Joe Estevez is with us this week. And uh, Did you see the Bond yes, movie, Joe? Uh, well, Joe, shut up. That's our show. Thank no, you no, so no, much no, 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 for joining us today. It's Bond time. You... Absolutely agree. I'm not talking about Bond today, next week, or anytime. Thank you all for joining no, us. No, you absolutely we'll be agreed that if I'm going to come on the show and review these movies, the that lights. the James Thank Bond you. movie is going to be in this episode. You absolutely Thank agree you. to that. I see you're not giving up your protest there in your James Bond suit with I, the... I'm happy to give it up. Let's just review the movie. I would get that to a dry cleaner soon because it's starting as to look... As soon as we review the movie, I'll go to the nearest dry cleaner. What are your thoughts on this film, though? If you're trying to coax a rating out of me... Uh, you're not going to get it because that's being withheld until we get to the Bond movie, and then I will. At that point, I will reveal my popcorn okay, ratings Greg's for all these movies. Estimated rating for well, last you, night you can't in Soho estimate is the ratings. Five bags you have no idea. I'm not reviewing any more movies until you agree to let me review the Bond movie. And then I'll review movies for you. And until then, I'm going on strike. Hey guys, it's movie time. And uh, you're, this is week uh, six where you're uh, Waging your little protest here. You know, here. if we had reviewed the um, movie the week it came out, like a normal TV show would with a normal host who eats food, I would have come in a different outfit the next week. I'll tell you what. I've thought about this. I actually talked about this with Matt. Uh, I'm going to let you review... James Bond. James Bond. Um, I'm going right. to give you an opportunity to do that on... Let's do it. ...the High Network's website, highnetwork.tv. High uh, you'll have an opportunity to... That's where we are right now. ...write a review for the new James Bond movie, and we will publish it, and that will be my concession. So we can move on, and you can remove that disgusting tuxedo jacket that is uh, uh, wretched and putrid. Do we have a deal? Well, let me ask you this. All right, do you not could want I to talk both? about Ghostbusters? Could, could I do both? Do you not could want I to talk the, about Ghostbusters? Could I do a, a quick, like, two-minute review mm -hmm. here? Excuse and me, then I do, take my And steps. then do the essay as well? Could we do both? And then I'll ditch the suit for next week. All right. You have, a, you have 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, the new James Bond is out, and this is actually the longest in the franchise. And it's actually kind of curious because this is a shock to anyone that hasn't seen the movie. But James Bond, you haven't seen the movie, have Time's you? Time's wasted. James Bond is stripped of the 007 moniker, which is kind of the twist in this movie. He becomes 00 and a new character becomes 007. How many bags? And I'm gonna give it, uh, I would give it 007 bags of popcorn, which would be seven bags of popcorn. Uh, okay, but I thank can't, you. So I'm gonna give it five bags of popcorn, and I'm gonna throw in 
I guess like a little 007 keychain. All right, thank for you Daniel very much. Craig that's the time to, to that's use 30 with his seconds. keys as a memento. We have to keep the show going. Time thank you very in, much, Greg. In the last you got several what you James wanted. Bond movies, because this is you got what you this wanted. is Daniel Craig's final right. James Bond movie. Thank you. Kanye West is a huge fan of the Bond franchise. He even uses it for samples in his songs. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you feel the vibe. The track Diamonds from Sierra Leone heavily samples Diamonds Are Forever by Shirley Bassey. Here is another number from 007. Diamonds are forever. This was the theme song for the 1971 film of the same name. Diamonds are forever. Kanye bought himself a set of titanium teeth. I think the most unique and innovative thing that I've done to date is with, with Ye. I think when you first look at it, it's a little confusing. It's futuristic. And you, you find yourself kind of looking, and it's attractive. He claims his inspiration came from the Bond villain, Jaws. Clearly Kanye and Greg are both heavily inspired by James Bond. Now future generations will become movie buffs as well. Kanye and Greg are the heroes and role models we truly need. They are the light in the darkness, but are Kanye West and Greg Turkington the same person? I don't know, I can't even see skin color. They look the same to me. Hello, I'm Scott Brown and welcome to Browntown. This is the segment where I get to share my thoughts about the world. Today's topic of discussion is Thunderball, starring Sean Connery. Thunderball is the fourth film in the James Bond series. Released in 1965, the film was a critical and commercial success. However, these days it is often called overrated. If you believe it is overrated, you are a fool. With a runtime of 130 minutes, it is captivating the entire time. When the Spectre organization takes an atomic bomb for ransom, it is up to James Bond to stop their plans before it gets detonated. My dear Prime Minister, two atomic bombs, numbers 456 and 457, which were aboard NATO Flight 759, are now in the possession of Spectre. Unless within the next seven days, your government pays to us 100 million pounds sterling in a manner to be designated by us, we shall destroy a major city in England or the United States of America. Please signal your acceptance of our terms by arranging for Big Ben to strike seven times at 6 p.m. tomorrow. It starts off with 007 attending the funeral of a rival agent. He kills a man in a dress who was disguised as a lady. She was mourning the death of a man, but the dead man was actually the lady. Madame, I've come to offer my sincere condolences. After this, James Bond flies away to safety using his jetpack.
The opening title sequence for this movie is gorgeous, visually striking, and captivating. The title song Thunderball is masterfully sang by Tom Jones. Double O Seven fights villains in a rehab facility and has sex with the nurse. Nice to have met you, Mr. Bond. Oh no. Oh yeah. See you later. He's kinky and he likes to use mink gloves when massaging his lovers. Mink. It uh, reduces the tensions. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Our Mr. Bond must have a very high opinion of himself. Opinion? Yes. He has a date with me too. This crazy bitch is named Fiona. She is wild and can't be trusted. Don't let her make so much noise. Use the chloroform. Do you like wild things, Mr. Bond, James Bond? Wild? You should be locked up in a cage. Mm, this bed feels like a cage. All oh, these bars. Do you think I'll be safe? Domino is the best and most beautiful Bond girl in the whole franchise. James Bond, I arrived soon after you went down. I've been admiring your form. Have you now? Your name's James Bond and you've been admiring my form? Will you excuse me? You're not going so soon. I'm afraid so. My guardian's yacht. Oh, really? He'll be expecting me. May I come with you? I'd love to meet your guardian. Oh, no. Will I see you again? It's a small island. Perhaps we can have dinner together. No. My dear uncooperative Domino. How do you know that? How do you know my friends call me Domino? It's on the bracelet on your ankle. So, what sharp little eyes you've got. Now turn over. This is going to hurt a bit. <laughs> oh. It's the first time I've tasted women. They're rather good. You're the only man to ever make me cry. <laughs> this film has tons of sharks. It's like watching the Jaws series and James Bond at the same time. Collect big game fish for various marine institutions. Magnificent creatures. Mmm, charming. The notorious golden grotto sharks, the most savage, the most dangerous. Mm. They know when it's time for them to be fed. It even includes the greatest underwater fight scene of all time. This battle was eight minutes of non-stop action in a thrilling sequence of events.
conclusion, Thunderball is an excellent movie and I give it a 12 star rating. If this film was released in 2024, it would still be considered unique and entertaining. The scenery, thrilling action, colors, the attention to detail, the storyline, the gorgeous women. I'm glad I killed him. I want to live inside of this movie. Well, that's the end of today's Browntown presentation. Signing off, I'm Scott Brown and thank you for watching Odd News.